Hello YouTube it's, and Horror Freaks tonight. It's me, Ghostface Kid 101. Today I want to talk about if they made a Slenderman movie, which um, there is one on YouTube already called Wendigo, which I'll get to more later. And there is also another one coming out soon. I think a DVD called The Entity, but I'll get to more of those later. Now, some of you are probably asking, what exactly is the Slender Man? Well, the Slender Man is a myth that's been going on the internet for a couple years now. Um, on June 8, 2009, a Paranormal Pictures Photoshop contest was launched on the Something Awful forums. The contest re required par participants to turn ordinary photographs to creepy-looking images through digital manipulation and then pass them on as authentic photographs on a number of paranormal forums. Something awful users soon began sharing their paranormal creations with layered images of ghosts and other uh, entities, usually accompanied by the fabricated witness account to make them more convincing. On June 10th, Something awful, user Victor Surge posted two black and white photographs of unnamed children with a short description of Slender Man as a mysterious creature who stalked children. The creature is a mythical creature often depicted as a tall, thin figure wearing a black suit and a blank face. According to a legend, he can stretch or shorten his arms at will and has cynical like appendages protruding from his back. Depending on the interpretations of the myth, the creature can cause memory loss, amnesia, paranoia, coughing fits, nicknamed slender sickness, photograph video distortions, and can teleport at will. The urban legend has inspired fan arts, fictional creepypastas, and mockumentary series in the style of 1999 horror film Blair Witch Project. Now, some of you may be asking what creepypasta is. That's a wiki that you can find online where you can create short horror stories. Some of you may have heard of the character Jeff the Killer. He was a creepypasta character. And there are multiple um, little YouTube series online such as Marble Hornets, Tribe 12, Caught Not Sleeping, and many more that are like a um, paranormal activity type of thing but it stars the Slender Man. And um, as you're looking here, this is one of the three figures that I've made of the Slender Man. Now, this one has removable tentacles from the back that do move. And you can display them two ways. One without them, one with just the regular four, or the ones with the super long ones connecting to the ground. Because they do say that he can walk on these if he wanted to. But um, if, you're, if you're wondering what the photographs look like that the fifth Slender Man was first seen in, not sure if you can see those well, but this first one here, there's a group of kids, and the Slender Man right there, and here. Slow going, it's really at the end when it gets really, like, more Slender Man being shown, but throughout the whole film there's video distortions and stuff, and a few little clips of the Slender Man, but, um, it's a really good film, I would definitely recommend it, I might post a link in the description for it. And there is a trailer online and a Facebook page for a film called The Entity, which stars The Slender Man, which I am very excited for. It will probably have a DVD release because it does look like a lower budget film, but it would be awesome if it had a theater release. And this one's not a first person type of view, like someone with a video camera, like Wendigo. And all the YouTube channels like Marble Hornets and all those, 2D Art, Tribe 12, Caught Not Sleeping. Those are just some of the YouTube channels. There, there are a lot of them out there. But um, if you really want to scare the crap out of yourself, definitely try playing Slender because it is a creepy game. Really creepy, really scary, and very suspenseful. And there are some other creepy games out there like Amnesia and SCP Containment Breach. SCP Containment Breach, that's a really scary game. That That's extremely scary. But um, I would definitely check out the YouTube channel. So definitely check out that film. And check out the Facebook page for the entity. But I want to know your guys' opinions on The Slender Man and the movies and stuff. If you would like, if you would really like to see a movie based off The Slender Man. 
Because you don't need to know hardly that much about Slender Man to think of a concept for a film for it to be in. I mean, when I first just saw a gameplay, before I even knew hardly anything about Slender Man, I automatically started thinking of, this will make a great film. And Wendigo, it was a really slow going film, but it, and not really good enough for a DVD release or something like that. But it was definitely really good, and I highly recommend it. You should really check it out. Don't want to put too many spoilers in there. In the game, you can check out some gameplays. People really cry like little girls. Not even kidding. Grown men, too. Not, I'm not even kidding. Just check it out. But, um... Is the Slender Man real, you'll probably be asking. No, he is not real. But, um... Some of the videos out there are quite convincing. And um, the actual film Wendigo was actually really convincing. But it's not really that much to say. But you should really, if you're a horror fan, Slender Man is something you really need to know about. Because even though it's not a film yet, unless you considered Wendigo to be an actual film, it's definitely something for horror fans to enjoy. It's just really creepy. And really just... It's actually... I don't know what to say. I'm just rambling on now. So um, you can post in the comments what you think about. Add me on Facebook. And we can talk about there. But I would really recommend doing a video response. But um... Yeah, this is Ghostface Kill 101, signing out.